Oh my God, you guys. So much to talk about because the party, well, because now it's a party. I will first quickly, hopefully quickly, weigh in on the hair debate that's sort of happening. Uh, whether or not you were being facetious, sister, I think there's a grain of truth in what you were saying about how hair does matter to you, and maybe you're a little bit shallow for that, and maybe you are. But I think we're all a little bit shallow in our own ways. And Laura happens to be somebody who doesn't care. Well, she at really least says and, and maybe doesn't really care about hair. I happen to know that her gentleman friend is uh, is becoming follically challenged. And so, you know, I assume she just wants to support him. And say she loves him just as he is and all that bullshit. Which is probably true. So that's fine. I also have met some girls who think that bald is sexy. And you don't know how right they are because if you lose the hair on your head, it's because you have a certain type of, or, or maybe elevated levels of a certain type of testosterone. And the irony is that if you have that testosterone, it's, it's testosterone and you are more likely to grow hair on the rest of your body. So I'm not, I've, I've got a pretty decent balance of, of a lot of body hair and losing hair on my head. I took the gay quiz to find out what, um, what category I am. And I'm actually a wolf. Um, a gay acquaintance of mine said that I was an otter, but I took the test and it said I was a wolf. So, you know, he needs to bone up on his gay categories. Second, um, Taco Cat, who I will only refer to as Taco Cat until you tell us where the name Taco Cat came from. Uh, you did mention it's a palindrome, not on any of your videos here, but and I do love palindromes. Everybody go check out the Weird Al Yankovic song, Bob. It's from like three albums ago. The entire song is palindrome phrases in the style of Bob Dylan. So, it's genius. Old Al Yankovic genius. So the thing I want to talk about is Taco Cat mentioned that he was going to have get wings and beer with his lady friend's brother and the question for the group is how important is it for you to get along with your significant others siblings or I'm not going to say family in general because you know everybody could have a crazy mother or father or whatever so specifically siblings um, I've, I've I feel like I'm pretty good friends now with well, not that I ever see him or talk to him, or not that I frequently see him or talk to him, but my lady friend's brother and I get along pretty well. Um, my lady friend likes the sister. That makes things a lot easier. Whereas, Kaka, your, um, I'm in the tunnel. Your, uh, man friends, some of, there's been a few that I don't think I even ever had a conversation with. And the one that you were with for the longest period of time, cohabitating, cohabiting, cohabitating. Uh, I maybe had three conversations with him and he was fine, but, you know, we never, I don't know what it is. Um, but the most recent one, to put in a plug, not to get you off on a rant about about how that went. Uh, I, I thought he was okay. I thought that I could actually have a real conversation with him at some point in the future. So, how important is that to everyone? Um, I happen to know that Laura and her gentleman friend get along with each other's siblings. Um, so that's that's nice. Seems like Aaron does. Erica, I believe you've gotten along with the family of your significant others. Anyway, run along here. So, uh, 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 get your motor running. Head out on the highway. 
I am on the highway. I am not looking for adventure or whatever comes my way. I just want to get the fuck to work and then the fuck to the airport and then the fuck to three of you. Nope, two of you. I forgot how many of us there were. 